Welcome to the Shack of M1GEO. Just a quick video looking at 4 meters, which was quite controversial here in at least the UK, and at least circles that I move in, with regard to the ICOM 705. Now, this radio has been wide banded. I've just acquired it. It's sort of within the first couple of hours of me playing around with it. But when I see videos online, they were all showing that the radio would absolutely not go sort of anywhere near 70 megahertz. And Obviously, one of the first things I did was to type in on here um, frequency input uh, and then just typed in 70.0 and was surprised that it actually went straight there. So all of the all of the kind of videos and stuff I had seen, the radio would not go anywhere near it. I then sort of thought, hmm, that's interesting and turned the radio off and mentioned it to a friend. And one of the things I noticed afterwards, when I powered the radio back on, was the usual ICOM thing of showing you the power for the band it is set to, which comes up now. And you notice it says in brackets, bracket 70M. Now I wondered, perhaps that's because I'm on 70 megahertz, and this being a wide branded radio, I thought to myself, I'd try 60 megahertz. So... I clumsily typed in 60 megahertz, and you'll see that it still does something here. And if you put a bit, put an antenna in it here, you can you can hear stuff on that frequency. And I noticed that it still says when it powers up, it still says 70 megahertz, bracket 70m on this screen here. So dropping it down below about 70 odd megahertz. It then drops to the six meter band. Now I suspect this is probably the low pass and band pass filters it's using for each band. But I was quite surprised to note that the firmware had a 70 megahertz band at all. You'll see now it says, I think 50 meg. So the, the cutoff frequency is obviously around 60 megahertz. Power cycle that again. This is a wide band radio. Uh, not 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 wide banded by myself, but by a previous owner. I picked it up second hand on eBay um, very recently. But I, I thought it was interesting. I'm going to do some more testing, see what maximum power output it will do. Various other bits and pieces. Probably someone has beat me to it, but it would be interesting. I was just just surprised that it would actually do uh, 70 megahertz. And it seems to be sensitive. I can hear can hear a local power repeater thing on 70 megahertz. So it's it's definitely doing something. Um, on uh, on 70.450 I'll have a play around it over the weekend oops <laughs> missed the decimal point out sorry so 70.45 enter there's no antenna attached at the moment but by no means a comprehensive test but find something that I can put into that socket in a minute. Just use the microphone cable and just poke it in. You'll see it, you know, picks up some of the noise in the shack here. So it's definitely a receiver on <laughs> on four meters. It just may not be a very good one. But uh, some measurements to be done in the future. But uh, First impressions of the radio, very good. It's uh, really nice. You'll see I've got it connected up to the Wi-Fi up here. The rest of the bits and pieces, so really nice. The metal case, I've got it in a sort of a sturdy-ish metal case with a nice nice front cover for, for portable use to protect it in the car and stuff, and that's quite nice. Uh, optional extras supplied, or not optional extras, but accessories supplied by the previous owner. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Just thought uh, it might be of interest to others.